Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to the Die Shop. Uh, I've been looking at like real-time strategy games for a little inspiration lately, you know, like that command bunker I built. Um, when you're playing RTS games, you each building user has like a purpose, helps towards progression, production for like units or items, whatever you need. Uh, this builds just a small die shop. Uh, I've got crop plots outside for berries, uh, cooking pots inside for making the die. You can see them there. Um, and just everything you need to sort of produce it. And I thought it could be like a good addition to a big base or something for PvE or roleplay. Um, it's a really small, compact build. It's easy to build and it's like got a really rustic look for it. Um, I just thought it'd be something quick and fun to build, really. Just a little different from everything else I've been building. It's been taking like hours, you know, for the videos. But this, um, probably get it built in half an hour. One thing I wanted was like little awnings, you know, sticking out from the building. You see down there, I used tables and painted them red and white, so you've got that striped effect. It just looks like the awnings sort of sticking out over the um, bit where you can like sell the die from. And all I did there was put the tables on to a couple of ceilings and then put the sloped walls in. See it there, just, just behind them, um, so it sort of hangs over the base a bit. But, um, that's probably the only really unique thing in this base. But yeah, just thought it was just a cool little design. Something quick and easy to build. I'll have a bit of a chat through it and just explain some of the build um, and put the sides and stuff in. So we'll get on with it. Right, you don't need a huge plot of flat land for this really. Um, the actual base itself sits on a 2x2 and a 3x4 um, section of foundation. So we'll get them built now. like that and then what we're going to do is the next bit we're going to step down so the foundation is slightly lower than the build so we can get like a little step in so if you use a wooden pillar and then the next one you put in put it right next to it and it'll drop down slightly and then do the same with the next one just like that and then when you put the foundation down it'll drop it slightly lower than the rest of them and that'll just make like a little stone um almost like a street where well, I was watching a youtuber called Satharius and he's got these medieval builds that he did and he built these full streets in between them and dropped the foundations and put curbs in it just looked really good um, you should check out his channel if you get a chance he's got some proper unique builds um, so that was sort of that idea and then the rest of it there you see it's just six across and the little walkway at the front is three by two and then the crop plots can go up the side of that. Um, the rest of it's just sticking your walls in, doorways. Um, you just put them wherever you want, really. I put a couple of wooden pillars, uh, three high at the side here. Um, that was just to sort of look like it was holding the awning up a little bit and to cover the gap on that left-hand corner there. So the bottom floor of this building is three walls high and then we're putting ceilings in and a hatch frame so we can get to the second level and the second level is quite small really it's just for like a, a bedroom and then these balconies coming off from the left hand side over the awning section and at the front as well 
Um, so yeah, we'll just get on with that now. Right, when you have two walls up between these pillars, place a couple of ceilings down. And then what you want to do is place a sloped wall on the right hand side. Like that. And then we're going to put some tables here. If you bring it right to the edge at this end, so I'll snap it in place there, just, just so it's green on the edge. And then make sure you can get your wall in, it's not obstructing it. Um, and then line the rest of the tables up. If you slightly overlap them like that, a little bit more on each one, the last one should just snap in. Get it out like as close as possible to that wall. Then you can get a sloped roof in behind it. Get your stone wall down on this side and the sloped wall will run into that. You can fill that gap in there at the back or you could leave it open for storage. Put another hatch frame in and um, put some ladders up there. So you've got both your sloped ceilings in there. And a little awning built. Because we've flipped the stone walls round, um, so the wooden struts are on the outside, when you come to place these ceilings, they will want to overhang a bit, and they'll just snap, see how like that first wooden slat of the ceiling sort of overlaps the next one. Uh, just do it that way. Looks better. At the back here, I'm just going to build like a little porch section, so I'll get some wooden um, foundations. Just want three at the back. I use hatch frames there, but you can use ceilings if you want. A couple of slope walls, and stick some sloped ceilings on top of that. Just gives you like a little covered porch at the back. Somewhere to pull the dinosaurs up to. Just building another small covered area here. So two walls up, just run a couple of ceilings out or hatch frames and a couple of ramps off the back. I used hatch frames because I can paint them different colours, you know, in the centre. Um, just so I can get that sort of red and white effect head on the little awning over the other side. Here you go, another little covered shop area. And that is 
basically the build finished. All you've got to do is get your crop plots in, uh, a few more fences, and then just put your, your decor down how you, how you like. And then it was all painted up. I painted the walls um, in tan colour, and I used mud paint for the wood just to darken it a bit. And I used red and white on the tables and that little covered section over the other side. And just there. Uh, and there we have it all built. I mean, you could use this space as like a little starter place or something, you know? It's pretty easy design. I just thought I'd do a few small builds while I'm waiting for me Atlas server to come online. You know, something and just do quick. As um, soon as that's up, I'll start doing some Atlas builds and start going over the NPCs and things like that. Do some more videos. Right, uh, if you enjoyed the build, guys, check out the rest of the channel and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.